So today I am going to do a baby lights weave all throughout. She's been doing just the top part for a while and we need to go in there and do all throughout. She's pretty dark here and dark there. And you can see the front needs to be touched up. And this lighting isn't the greatest, but we'll show you the after. All right. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing this highlight um, on my client and I am going to be using the Flash Lift by Redken with 20 volume and I'm gonna be mixing 40 and 10 to make 20 because I am out of 20 and we do what we gotta do. And then I'm going to be adding one milliliter of the Redken pH bonder to my bleach. Also, I wanted to show you guys, I did half and half of the 40 and 10 volume, and that made one ounce to one scoop of the flash lift. And I always scoop out and make sure I get all of that measurement and I'm not leaving any product behind or wasting. And then the pH bonder. I'm gonna do one and a half. I know I said one, but I am gonna do one and a half. And then I always use a whisk. You get better consistency in your color mix. Look at that. That's perfect. That's the consistency I like. And I always measure. I know some people don't, but I like getting the same mixture every single time. And I'm not wasting product. I can know if I need only half a scoop, then that's half the volume and that just works better for me. For hair today, I'm gonna do a brick lay pattern, um, starting from the back going up all the way to the top. And at the bottom here, I may weave these out and just um, hair paint these on at the end since they are so fine. <laughs> so far in the back. I wanted to show you guys how thin I am doing this baby light. And I wanted to show you the color and how far I'm dragging it down. So it stops right in here at an angle where that dark piece is and then I leave this out. I'm moving to the front of the hair and I'm going to do her foiling on an angle and actually I am going to do some front pieces coming forward. here on an angle and then I will switch back to going I just this. wanted to show you the side foiling and it's a it's a fine weave here
I'm gonna do, I did two here in the front, fine weave, and then I'm gonna do another one. And actually because of the way it's setting up, I'm just gonna actually do them all going back. My next processing will be the root smudge, and so that color that I'll be using for that is 7NA and 7N color gels by Redken, and I always mix with their color gels developer because I've tried using other things and it just doesn't work out well. So Normally I mix up the color while my client is under the dryer for about 10 minutes. I put her under the dryer. And so I am going to, it's so difficult to make sure I get it in the thing, so I'll just lift it up. I'm gonna do like one fourth of the seven and eight. And one fourth of the six N. solution 10 volume on this one and equal parts so that'll come to an ounce of color and I just mix it up here and you can put it in a bowl or you can just keep it in here um, I use a bigger brush to apply more quickly so I am going to dump it in here and then use that, my bigger brush, to get inside of the bowl because my big brush won't fit inside this little container. So this is after we were done. It sat under the dryer for 10 minutes and we are going to rinse. This is the color it lifted to all throughout. Showing you with all of the foils pulled out, um, I started with 20 volume throughout and then at the last little bit I switched to 40 and as you can see it gives it an even consistency of lift all throughout the hair. So now I'm moving on to the toning part and I'm going to use Shades EP, Shades EQ 9P and I am going to do half ounce of this and then half ounce of crystal clear and then one ounce of the processing solution and the reason I'm going to be using the crystal clear is to lighten it up so it's not a full nine and it'll make it like a nine and a half ten okay. and then after that I use my wet brush and comb that through and let that sit on for, I just watch it. So sometimes it's a couple minutes, sometimes it's five minutes, but her hair was lifted pretty light, so I think we're good. I always start my root smudge in the back because that is darkest anyway, naturally. <laughs> result with it dry and straight.